Hey YouTube, welcome to Amateur Makeup Girl. Um, for some reason, um, the sound didn't record, so I am going to do a voiceover over what I've already um, filmed. And right here, I'm doing my usual, hey y'all. Um, and I think I'm gonna jump right into the makeup tutorial. I think this is just gonna be eyes only, and it is on the um, new, uh, palette by Kat Von D, the pastel goth one. I just decided to have some makeup playtime today. I thought, why not? Um, so the two palettes you'll need for today is her shade and light eye and the pastel goth one. I'm going to pull from both of those palettes. Um, and so that's what I'm telling you. Um, there after I've gotten my eyebrows all primed and set, I'm actually going to go in with the color, uh, latest LA or lactus I think that's an E though L-A-E-T-U-S and that's from the shade and light color uh, shade and light palette and I just kind of sweep that on both right above the crease and pulling it down a little bit and the next shade I am going to go in with I do believe is the um, kind of brown kind of orangey brown shade but this shade is called Lucius and it's out of the shade and light as well. Um, because of course the pastel goth one um is it's it doesn't have um transition shades in it uh, for me to be able to put um this look together. So I just pulled it out of the Kat Von D shade and light um eyeshadow palette. Next I went in with um the gray color out of the pastel goth palette and that color is called um, dagger and I blended it in with the brown because I wanted it to have a good transition down into the blue I didn't want it to just jump into the blue I wanted it to kind of make sense so what I did to um, make the blue pop is I am taking um, the Sephora white pencil um, it's a little bit creamier to me than the NYX one in milk um, I think I like the way it blends out better um, and um i'm laying that down so that when i do lay my pastel color down that you guys can really see the pigmentation even though it didn't really need it um the 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 the, the payoff from the pastel goth colors um can work with or without that white base but for my own sanity <laughs> and this eye look i went ahead and um put down a white base and I like I said I used the one from Sephora the jumbo pencil from Sephora in white so I'm picking up the MAC 242 brush I'm going to use that to actually pick up that blue color out of the pastel gulp palette and that color is called doom so oh and you guys see that payoff from that blue actually I I I I think you would have gotten it either way, but you know, if you just want to ensure that you get that color payoff, I would say lay down you a white base or a black base, depending on what you're trying to go for to make the color pop. And I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. So really all I did was pick up the shadow and I patted it onto the eye. Not necessarily sweeping. I'm just kind of cleaning it up a little bit in the crease. I know that I will go back in with um, a little bit of the gray, the dagger color, just to make sure the dagger and the um, doom color kind of kind of make sense, kind of match up. And I then take a clean. I, no, that's the that's the brush I used that had the. Um, dagger color on it but there was no more product on it i'm just using it to blend for blending purposes so now i've completed both eyes pretty much <laughs> i just wanted you guys to see you know um how it was looking i did pull a little bit of the blue into the um inner corner because i'm going to lay a color down against that blue and i want that those color the color that i lay down for the inner corner to pop so that's why i, I pulled it a little bit into the the blue color into my um inner corner and i'm just going back and making sure that the blue is um still popping so um i've done my face and i think um 
Oh yeah, this is the Alchemist palette from Kat Von D. I guess this is Kat Von D's day. But hey, when you bringing it, you bringing it. Um, I'm taking the blue sapphire color out of there and I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner. Um, and all I did for the um, lower eye, eyelid was not eyelid, Lord have mercy. I did take a little bit of white the white pencil and run it along my uh, lower eye to um kind of make sure that that gray showed up because I really wanted that to be seen um on the lower lid um and that's all I did down there and I'm 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 out of frame but I can you see that blue sapphire from the alchemist palette I can that it was just simply gorgeous do you hear me gorgeous so um i did um highlight my inner corner with that even though you guys can't see it i actually also took it um and used it as my brow bone highlight and what i did was i laid down a little bit of the white called skull out of the pastel goth palette i laid that down under under for my brow bone and then i went in on top of that with the blue sapphire from the alchemist palette to kind of bring the look together so i just really like um, it this is the final look um yeah i absolutely love how this turned out <laughs> the um another again you have to kind of play with things to um, make sure they work for you I am ecstatic about that blue I used a little bit of the purple as well underneath here um, and because we had gotten it before was that uh, let me see if I can find it um, that purple mascara remember if you got the Nikki Too Faced um, collab it came with a purple uh, mascara and I did use that on my bottom lashes uh, just because it's, it's kind of like a pastel, um, just to have a little more fun with the look. Um, I did add lashes today because I felt like, you know, it, it would, you know, just a little more fun. And this Alchemist palette, when I tell you I'm so glad I picked this up, it's, an, it's a great accent, you know, to be able to bring out the blue-green in the inner corner like it did. Um, I did use a little bit on my cheeks today, and the color I went in with, with was Blue Sapphire. Um, I laid down uh, a little bit of the glow for, what's that color called? It is called, ooh, wait, this upside down. Lord have mercy. It's called 14 Karat Glow. Um, I laid that down just a little bit, and then I went on top with the uh, blue sapphire just here, and I definitely hit my nose up a little bit with it. Um, I just think it just kind of added to the look. It didn't take over. This did not take away from um, the shine, and I think it just kind of gave it a... And I put it up here in my... Um, in my brow bone, in my, for my brow bone highlight. Um, I just think it pulled it all together in the end because um, like the blue people, this pastel is, you know, um, it's creamy, but it's workable. I, I felt like it was easy to blend the shades together. Um, and, and I only used what? The blue, the gray, and the purple today. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I did use the white. I used the white first and laid it down a little bit up underneath the brow bone, and then I went in with um, a little bit of the blue uh, from the Alchemist palette. This is a great accent palette um, uh, to be able to get that, what's it called? Holographic? Yes, to get the holographic look um, for um, your eyes or your cheeks or whatever but I, I really really must say I enjoyed this look today I hope you guys did as well um, on my lips because I know I'm gonna get asked is the Sephora uh, this is their gel lip pencil liner gel lip liner in the what's this color mahogany Child. Oh Lord, molasses. I'm so sorry, molasses. Um, and then I went in with Too Faced um, Cool Girl, and I topped it a look with the uh, Marc Jacobs um, lip gloss and sugar, 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 sugar. Um, I really do love this whole entire look. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, hopefully, if you have the palette, you could play along with me. Um, and if you recreate this look, let me know. Um, or you know, maybe we can get together and figure out some other looks that we can kind of um, 
come up with out of this pastel gold. I think the next shade I'm gonna do is probably the green because um, you know, blue and greens and purples is right up my alley. So um, thank you guys so much for um, joining me today and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next turn. Thanks you two. Bye -bye. Oh, really quick, I'm gonna have to put this in before the outro, but um, I did try the Tarte uh, uh, Lash Adhesive and I like it. I like it a lot. I think I like it because it's in the black and it seems like it is it doesn't take as long to get tacky. Um, these are not on perfectly, but I don't feel them, which is what I have been looking for. Something that didn't uh, make me feel like I had on lashes, and this definitely did not. I really, really, really am enjoying this product. See you guys on the next turn. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye.